Okay, now we're recording. So I'm in the process of putting together an amazing gaming computer that I have for the desk in front of me, which you can't see right now. Um, so the parts list is down there, you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, just gonna sort of fire this up. And never mind the chat down there, because no one's gonna show up. Okay, so, um, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, then you'll know exactly just how lonely I am. Okay, I shouldn't say that my wife's sitting over there, I just gotta, I just gotta look. So. Alright, so, oh, I'll straighten that up a little bit. So I have not built a computer in years and years and years. So I am quite liable to cut myself. I already have cut myself. So I'm at the back plate here. And I'm going to put the back plate into the computer. Of course, this is not really cooperating. Oh. It's going to be a long night. So they're applying the obligatory band-aid. Because what is a computer build if you don't cut yourself to pieces? You ever notice how band-aids are skin colored? Depending on the shade of your skin. Okay, and now my band-aid is leaking all over the place. If you're squeamish, turn away. You know what? I just need like um, a paper towel or something to stop the bleeding. <laughs> just to stop the bleeding. Thank you. I really must have cut deep there. Whoops. Another thing, of course, I forgot to do is get a screwdriver. I'm going to do that right now. Bring the whole toolbox. Oh, Alright, so that was a mistake. Let me see what I can find for screws. What are these screws? Are they those screws? These screws are really small though. At least I don't can see those. Is it gonna focus for me? Nope, I'm not gonna focus. Oh my. that almost hit my foot. So yeah, just, uh, you know, kind of hanging out, um, doing some screwing. The bleeding has stopped. Look at that. I'm no longer bleeding profusely from my index finger. Okay, before I continue, check out how big this, uh, this manual is. So like, this is, this is, this is the manual for the power supply. You see how thick that is? That's just for that. I mean, fortunately, that's just the English part. But yeah, this power supply is fancy. There we go. That's one screw done. Oh, see now I'm... <laughs> you can tell I'm a computer geek, my arm was starting to cramp there. Quick little blood check. No, we're good. Okay. So... No, um, uh, dealing with slight, <laughs> dealing with, dealing with, ow, dealing with a slight arm cramp, but I'm okay. I'm all right. Woo. Okay. Next thing is, hmm? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Ow. Next thing is, next thing is, woo. as you can see below, I have the, uh, the Asus Z7 or 170. Whoops, I put 710 in there. That's not true. I'll turn this sideways so it's at least slightly more exciting. Oops. Building a computer is not difficult in spite of what I'm making it look like. Um, so I always tell people it's a lot like playing with Lego, except you're not allowed to be creative if you get creative, then um, things break. Alright, everything seems pretty snug. It is in there. I'll flip this up so we can all see what's going on. Look at that. My phone just went off. Can't look at that right now, but look at that. Motherboard's in there. Yeah, to be honest with you, and I should have said this earlier, I actually stole a lot of this stuff, um, a lot of the, the part list. There is a video 
um, that the guys at Node did, that D over at Node did a video, um, and I stole a lot of the ideas uh, from him on this. So uh, the case, the power supply, so many things. They did an awesome, awesome setup video. Um, obviously they did it much faster and it was just on YouTube so everything went much smoother, but you know how it goes. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to do the cooling. Let me flip the camera. Okay, so now we're going to do the cooling. We're going to do cooling next. Um, so I decided to go water cooling because I've never done a water cooling before. They did it at Node and I think it's cool. This setup cost about $2,500 Canadian. Um, for all of the parts you see down there. Yeah, that was roughly what it cost. What you could do if you wanted to, apparently, according to the videos I watched, is um, if you wanted to save a bit of money, what some people are doing is uh, they'll splash out more on the... Um, what am I saying? It was on the video card and less on the processor. I basically went all out on the processor. Um, but a lot of people, you know, I mean, I got, you know, the, the, the latest Skylake i7. Um, a lot of folks are just deal doing with i5s and whatever, and they just get, like, get an i980, right? So they save a bit of money on the processor and just splash it on the video card. Um, but I'm hoping, depending on how things go, on doing some VR stuff. So I wanted to make sure I had something that was pretty impressive. Uh, I'm poor now. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So this is the Corsair H110i GTX water cooling processor system of glory and goodness. And, uh, yeah, look at the size of that radiator. Good gravy. I wonder which way these are supposed to go. Again, making sure I have my head right in shot. Because what is filming if it's not about being as awkward as possible? Of course, the real miracle here is going to be if it's actually, the computer actually works when I try to turn it on. But anyways, and this is the thing that amazes me too. Like, look at all this thing. It comes with like all these different things and stuff. It's like, what are the, th what things, like what do I... What do I do with all this stuff? I'm so going to break this. Anyway, so here's the assembled radiator and fans. Look at this. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, my head is huge, but look at the size of this thing. And of course, someone's going to watch this video and absolutely cringe because it's manhandling this thing. I am an OCD person's nightmare, I'll tell you that. Oh, I get it now. In love with the cocoa. I just realized that. That's really embarrassing. I'm not old. I am old. Never mind. Back to the screws. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start experimenting. So I have no idea what I'm doing. And what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Again, always best to leave this to the professionals. <laughs> All right, thanks for checking this out. Uh, in love with the coco. See you again on. I dropped another screw. See you again on the twitches.tvs. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'm in Canada. We had Thanksgiving a month ago, but have a great Thanksgiving, anyways. Thanks for stopping by. Stop back anytime. So, I'm now going to attempt to lift the case. And if the water cooling drops and breaks everything, then I'm in the stream early and I'm going to go cry in a corner. Hey, look at that. Uh, where's the cable for this fan? This has not been well thought out. So, this one here is okay, but that one there is wrong so guess what after all that an hour into the build and that fan is in there wrong
That is unfortunate. So, and there's things in the ways of the screws, so I can't even unscrew it without taking out the cooling system. So, once more into the breach. See, what I'm essentially doing here is making big, horrible, time-wasting mistakes that you don't have to. Now, for the moment of truth, now we unbox that. This is a very exciting moment because these processors are only, you know, a couple months old. It's been a long time since I've had such, such high technology. Genuine Intel i7 core inside hologram. Take out this little plastic holder thingy. That is to say, take out the plastic, take out, the, no, no, okay, hold on. I'm gonna put that back in there for a second while I try to remove the plastic holder thing. There we go. Install processor first, then remove and keep the cover. Install processor first, then remove. Whoops. Okay, let's put that back in. Well, you know, if I had read this earlier, this has all sorts of great information in it. Look, there's all, all sorts of great information in this manual here. I should have read this earlier. Okay. So all it says is install the unit. <laughs> That's great. It just says, install the pump unit and screw it down. Okay, I'll do that. What could possibly go wrong? Only slightly nerve wracking. So I know that if this one gets messed up, that we don't have a computer anymore. I actually did have that happen to me one time. I was doing some upgrades on a computer and uh, didn't seat the video card quite in the slot. So when I turned the computer on, I heard a very, what sounded like a very loud static electric pop. Um, and something smelled really bad and that was the end of the computer. So what I'm basically looking at doing now is getting stuff run from the power supply down here because it's reversed out through that little port back here which you can see hello, and then back in through there or there or i'm totally fingering this case there so now the question is which one that just says type 4 on it and that is big wide one so it looks like it's down there oh 24 penny aha yes we are approaching various sets of knowledge so what you're gonna see is what i actually want to do hello yeah if this thing works it's gonna be a miracle hey look the screw i lost hey look at that the screw i lost came out everybody can rejoice now Shortly after 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, there's still lots of loose cables that need to be dealt with. There's still many, many things. Many, many fans and things that need to be hooked up. Um, but essentially, let's look that back up for the end of this. Uh, I'm going to call the night right now and uh, pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I can get it finished. Probably won't stream it. Um, uh, what I'll do is, is when it's all said and done, um, I'll probably do another YouTube clip or something like that. So, um, yeah, if you're watching this on Twitch, um, you can see down below, down there, I am Paul TGG on many social medias, including YouTube. Um, if I'm going to stream again off schedule, so schedule is Mondays and Wednesdays, 7.30 to 9.30. If I'm going to stream off schedule, I'll announce it on Twitter. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to bed and my head hurts because this has been mind-boggling. So yes, thanks very much for watching. If you managed to get through two hours of this video, I hope you skipped the vast majority of it. And uh, yeah, goodbye to YouTube and goodbye to Twitch. And hopefully I will see you on Monday evening with a computer that works. And if not, I'll be sad. Bye-bye.